Hello everyone, welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. And today, since we're celebrating the anniversary of Doctor Who, I thought we'd do a collection video. So we're taking a look at my 9th and 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver replicas that I have in my collection. Uh, and I will just say now that this isn't actually all of them. There's one or two that I'm saving for later, so uh, look out for them. But for now, we're going to be focusing on these six right here. So from left to right, we have my custom Wand Company Aztec, custom Wand Company Wide Slider. Then we've got a standard Wand Company right here. And next to that, we've got the Celestial Toy Store Ultimate Edition. And then we've got this one here from the last video, which is the Rubberto Replicas Tank Stop to Sonic Screwdriver. And next to that, we have the Millennium FX Sonic Screwdriver. So, all of them very nice. All of them fairly similar, but got a few differences. Some of them are harder to spot than the others. And yeah, we're just going to go over them now. So, we'll start off by looking at the Aztec. So, this was a standard one company Sonic screwdriver. It used to look like this when I first got it. With the slider. And it's been like that. You see, I painted the body with some crackle paint. Now it's not the best crackle paint job I've done, I'll be honest. But it's not the worst either, it's not the worst. So we'll start off from the bottom, got the standard black end cap there, kind of a matte black. And then we've got the aluminum section here, which isn't a standard one company, this has been machined by somebody else, just so it'd be a bit different. Even though it's not completely accurate to how the end cap on the Aztec looked, but I'd say this is, this is a custom, this is not an accurate one. Moving on to the body, we have here the standard Wand Company body that I've filled in the slider channel. You can just about see it there. And it's just filled in with a bit of putty. And then it's got a 3D printed Aztec button on there, wired up to an LED. Now, I did actually have a Wand Company sound chip in there, I think. Oh no, it was a character option sound chip in there but it broke. So until I put a replacement in, I've just wired up an LED. So yeah, so that extends. You just pull the head out there because obviously there's no slider channel. You see, it's got the red and black wires instead of the yellow that it comes with. And yeah, so it's not, not entirely accurate. Still needs some work. Definitely going to repaint the body again because as you can see it's, it's not really that great, but it's not the worst job I've done. But yeah, so yeah, not too bad. Needs the right grub screws as well because they're not correct. So needs some work, but so far so good. So moving on to the next one. Now this is the wide slider. This is also a one company custom, like I said, except this one has a whole new body. So the, the body's been remachined, it's all metal, so it's, a, it's got some quite, quite a nice weight to it when you compare it to these two here, which just have the standard plastic body. It's also got a micro switch on there, and the red and black wires. This one still has the one company electronics in, so still has all the sounds. But uh, yeah, so because it's because uh, I've only got the red and black wires in, I had to take the remote sensor wire out. So it no longer functions as a remote, but I didn't really use it as a remote anyway, so it doesn't matter. So this, the whole body is one section, so the end cap and the body is all one piece. You see that bit has been machined more accurately at this piece 
I say, this bit isn't a standard one company one, it's a, it's a custom machine one, but it's not accurate. But it looks better than the standard one. So yeah, so this has got the one company end cap here. You see there's the charger still with the one company electronics. And yeah, so it's painted with the quality cream top coat and the gold base coat. Exactly the same as this. As you can see, this is this has got a better job. However, this screwdriver should be painted uh, with a brown base coat, not a gold. But I didn't paint this one, so not my fault. <laughs> However, I will be painting it at some point in the future, probably. It's a fairly nice one. You see the, uh, the ridges on there chip on the paint there. The ridges are really nice when you compare them to the standard one. So that's great. Now moving on to the standard one company one. Everyone knows what these look like. What you should do by now. It's great. Uh, it still, still works. Just got to keep it charged regularly. Um, nothing really much to say about this one other than when it retailed for £60. What a bargain that was for £60. Now they go for anything 300 onwards, which is a little pricey, but yeah, you get what you pay for, I suppose. So that's the one company screwdrivers there. So moving on to the Celestial Toy Store 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. We're getting onto the high-end replicas now. So this is great. I've had this quite a few years now, I can't really remember I think maybe maybe 2015 I think I got it maybe so yeah I got this second hand because unfortunately they'd sold out on the website by the time I went to buy one but I was lucky enough to get one anyway see the paint job has held up really well on this one it's worn out in a few places but I kind of like that weathered look you can see there that the acrylic rod has cracked which is just due to age really basically because it's a piece of acrylic and then they drill it to run the wires through sort of frosts you can see it's kind of yeah it kind of frosts the channel and then over time it splinters and cracks luckily it's not split completely so it still slides up um, I quite like how it looks to be honest I was thinking of uh, getting it repaired and I might do it someday but I think it adds a bit more a bit more I don't know a bit more character to the Sonic looks like it's been through the through the wars and also I really like the sound on the Celestial Toy Store it's just got the one the one sound but I do like that it gets louder when you slide it up which is great uh, the end cap does come loose from the body and that's how you change the batteries there, you take this piece off. Um, that bit doesn't come off at all, I think, but that's glued on properly. Yeah, it's really nice. You see this uh, strip here, the, uh, the blue stripe, it does actually glow in the dark. So when you turn all the lights off, if it's had enough sunlight, it glows. Oh yes. So uh, yeah. Now that was probably my favorite Tent Doctor screwdriver up until a few weeks ago when I had delivery of this, which if you've seen the last video, you know what this is. I'm not gonna to talk too much about it now because I did a whole video on it like last month. So, and you see how loud I mentioned that one was? This one is on a whole other level. This is beautiful. This is the Rubito Replicas version. It's uh, pretty much brand new. So like bearing in mind that this, this is about mm, 2012, 2013, this would have been made. Whereas the Rubito, this was made about a month or two ago. You can't get any newer than this basically. <laughs> so yeah, so the end cap screws off there and this bit unscrews. That's how you change the batteries. A lovely slider there. Uh, really nice grey bluey crackle. 
Now you just think it looks grey, but when you compare it to this, you think, oh wow, that looks very grey bluey. Bluey grey, bluey grey. See the end caps there? The ridges. See the ridges are very different. And um, also, just put the wrong one down. Mm -hmm. You can see the blue stripe on this one. It's more of a kind of like a sticker. It just sticks on there. It's kind of like a piece of plastic that sticks on. Uh, so it's not paint. Whereas on the uh, Celestial Toy Store, it's a paint that glows in the dark. Like that. Obviously, the glow in the dark paint isn't accurate. This is more accurate. This has four sounds. So it's exactly the same as the 11th Doctor's so Sonic Screwdriver from Character Options and the 11th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver from Mobotor Replicas. It's the same, same standard sound chip. And you can see on the acrylic rod on this one, how it's really nice and clear. And this is because it's just been uh, drilled straight through. It's not been frosted, which means that it shouldn't crack over time, which is good because Although, although it kind of looks nice, none of the screen news props look like that because if it did crack, they just replaced it straight away. So this is more accurate and it's, not, it's less likely to crack. So it's better for the long run. Just look at it, it looks beautiful. Look at that yellow wire twist there. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna do a little, little close up of these actually. The heads there. The ridges and the buttons. Beautiful. Bang! Right, so on to the last side screwdriver. Now, the MFX replica. This was, uh, this is quite a Sonic, so it was, it's never accurate. It was based on the Series 4 prop. So it was based on the same prop as the Rubber Replicas 10 and the CT 10. So it's based on the same prop of these. And as you can see, it's probably when it comes to the emitter sections, you can see the one that stands out is the MFX because it looks the most different. And it actually was the least accurate until the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who when David Tennant was given one of these to use and thus it became accurate. So this screwdriver uh, made by MFX, they only made 500 of them. A lot of people when they got them they repainted the body um, so you'll find a lot of grey ones out there. Whereas this one has been kept in the original paint job so it's accurate to the episode The Day of the Doctor. So that's where this screwdriver comes from. So I wouldn't actually have it in my collection if it didn't appear in that episode. So thanks for that episode, we got a whole other variant. So it's very nice. And uh, yeah. So what more can I say about these screwdrivers other than they are excellent in their own unique way. I love each and every one of them. Yes, yes, yes. I can't really buy any of them now apart from the Rubito Replicas 10th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. So if you want a replica of the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, I would recommend getting a Rubito Replicas one before they sell out. They're making 300 of them and I'm pretty sure they've sold about 200 if not more already. So I'd be quick if I were you. I'd be quick if I were you. Yes, yeah, so uh, I think I'll end it there guys because uh, we rambled on forever otherwise. If you have any questions about the screwdrivers or anything like that, or any requests for videos for me to make in the future, just let me know, comment down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm probably gonna go and watch some uh, Doctor Who, celebrate the anniversary. Maybe a bit of a uh, season 12 Tom Baker, since I just got the uh, Blu-ray collection. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.